Hey guys, welcome to QA Box Let's Test. And in this video, we are going to learn how can we add a Chrome extension in Cypress. So the extension that I'm going to load to this Chrome test runner is ignore X frame header. And why I've chosen this, I'll tell you towards the end of this video. But if you click on this, you see ignore X frame header is currently not present. Now how to accomplish this objective now guys it's a two-step process step one is to acquire the extension locally you see this folder that is present in my project uh, root folder ignore xframe header it contains all the files that are associated with this particular extension but how are you going to download all this locally all right so for that you require another extension okay so all right guys uh, open your web browser and just search for this okay and this is the first link that you have to click once you click this you have to install this i've already done that it's going to be very simple okay you just have to click on this button and it would get added as an extension to your chrome browser all right as you could see in here now what i've done is i've pinned this particular extension and hence i am seeing this in here now Next thing that you have to do is whatever extension that you want to download, you have to open that, okay? Like this, ignore X frame headers. And now you click on this and you get this option download as zip. So you download that, okay, and unzip it. So you copy that unzip folder and put that at the root of your project like I have done already, okay? Now step two is, to load this extension into Cypress. And for that guys, we would make use of browser launch API. So again, let's open the documentation. All you have to do is again, open Google and just type Cypress browse launch API. All right guys, so this is your page. And as you could see in the documentation before Cypress launches a browser, it gives you the opportunity to modify the browser preferences, install extensions, add and remove command line arguments and modify other options from the plugin files. So we want to install an extension. So this API is going to serve us, okay? Now, this is the code that we are going to use, but this code is a part of plugins file and thus execute in the node environment. Now, node events are synchronous in nature, guys. That's another important thing to understand. Not just limited to Cypress, wherever you go. So node environment has got these events being written in the synchronous way, okay? So therefore, this is the callback, right? So this is your event. And this is your event listener and your event listener is synchronous. Why? Because you don't see a sync await in front of it. Okay. Now this second argument, which is the callback, it takes in two arguments, browser and launch option. So to load an extension, we got to work with launch option, but let's quickly look at this. So what is this browser object? An object describing the browser being launched with the following properties like name, family, channel, display name. So yeah, I mean, if, if you got to take a decision, if this is a browser, this then this is what you want to do and so on, then you got to use this object. Launch option, options that can be modified to control how the browser is launched. For example, whether an extension should be present or not. Okay, so got to make use of this object and specifically this property on launch options object so extensions okay and it is of type string array meaning you can load multiple extensions if you want to all you have to do is you have to provide in the path the local path of that folder when you have all the files specific to an extension like i have this folder wherein i have all the files specific to this particular extension Oh, it's the next step it's very simple so just click on this link add browser extension and guys you just have to copy this code as it is and paste that into cypress plugin index.js okay and this is the launch option then you've got the extensions method right this is a property sorry then you have got the push method in the push method you have to provide in the path Okay, so I have already done that in the interest of time. So let me open, go to Cypress plugins index.js. In here, you have this code. Okay, so guys, in here also we have got two options. Okay, either 
you have to provide the absolute path like so okay or you can use one native module from node.js which is path okay and then you can use this logic okay choice is yours so let me save this okay and we got to close this all right and restart this okay so let me click on the loading bar.spec.js and i hope that extension is available guys it's available all right so we are able to load a chrome extension successfully all right now why did i choose this well for that we have to understand a concept so X frame options is a web header that can be used to allow or deny a page to be iframed. Okay. Why do we deny? If somebody loads your application inside a frame, it is considered as a security vulnerability because how does a user will figure out whether the user is working on a genuine website or a framed website okay so a lot of application ensures that the end product which is the application that they have created cannot be iframed all right and what are the different options there are two ways right guys and of course there are some categories like you know deny it absolutely or at least allow it for the same origin or any particular website right which can iframe that but how do we implement it? We implement it at the code level. And this is a specific example being uh, taken from ASP.NET Core. All right, but it's available across all different technologies. Another one is you can also apply it at the server level. So what I've done is guys, we have this one website, which is hosted on IIS. And this is the URL localhost colon 9191. All right, I can open this website like so, okay, but in my code what i have done is i've created this very basic html page okay and i have i framed that website okay like so this is what you do you set the source attribute to the url of the website that you want to frame okay now if i do a right click and launch that you see it is not loading let me close this and open that in here only all right so if you open the console, you would see refuse to display in a frame because X frame option is set to deny. All right. Now I'll show you an interesting thing. So if I run this test in Cypress, right, I should see the same thing. No, I'm not going to see the same thing. Why? Because in the very first video of Cypress series, right, I mentioned that Cypress iframe your application okay so even if you know you have added that header in the response cypress just removes it ignores that particular response header and then load your website let me show you if i run this thing okay in cypress that website is still getting loaded okay and what is the reason that particular header is removed so cypress does that out of the box for you so that it can frame your application okay now how can i implement the same so we got to use the same extension guys so if i just add it to the chrome right add extension like so right and go back to this page and load it now you see the page is loaded and cypress does exactly the same okay so i hope you like this content i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching